Today I have an RFD40 that I want to upgrade and configure a little. So let's try this out together. Um, we have the 123 RFID utility. I am running version 201.28. This is the latest. So I want to connect. I have a RFD40 premium device and I just plugged it in. So let's see, it's going to auto discover and I'm going to hit connect and from connect. Uh, once it connects, I'm going to try to do a firmware upgrade. Now this is on a older version, uh, 02R01. So that 02R01 is here. I see this was released May 2023. So I'm going to try and go to that one. I have already downloaded it. So what I'll do, we'll go to firmware here. We're going to click on the device and we're going to see what happens. So I need to select the file. So I have the file selected. I'm going to say continue and it'll say uploading firmware. So good. I'll pause here for a second and come back when it's done. The indicators on the device are blinking red. So on the left and right of the RFD40, I'm assuming probably the same for the 90, there are two button looking things. They're actually LED lights, so you can see status. So we're still at 54%. I'm gonna pause here again. So we see here the device was updated. We'll say okay. And we'll say, let's see, connect, connect. Well, let's see what this is about. Oh, we have to uh, set the region. So it's um, part of the US. I think we had a big upgrade and I understand. Say set, See, okay, now we can connect. So we have to set it to USA. Um, and once it connects here, so we see it was updated to the latest and we can configure it. We can create an offline, which gives us the choice to uh, select a product and then configure it and then send it. Or we can create our serial and edit the configuration on the reader and we can make these changes. It's uh, gathering it uh, real time as we're looking at it. And the main one I want to see here is the Bluetooth. Um, we already set the region and antenna, and there's other settings that you can go through in here. Um, and then if I wanted to see what's running around my office, I can see what's running around my office. So that's RFID desktop. Now let's just take a look at um, something else here as well. I have our 123 mobile application running on the device here and let's see if we can get it to connect here easily so under the top piece there is a barcode to scan let's see if that will pair pair with let's say yes pair so now we have this model, now it's set, and we can say readers, we're going to pick this reader, now we're connected, you can hear the reader beep, and we can, in a basic test, you can see here is the battery level of the device, so it's low. Um, if you wanted to set any of the RFID settings profiles, these are things that you can um, you can do. There are some um, basically you can save, do your tag reporting and whatnot. But uh, if we just go to readers and we are going to oops, we are already connect cancel. So let's go back and we're just gonna say we want to use the reader to scan some tags. So I'm doing total reads. Um, I found 24 unique tags. And then also, let's see in here, from the menus, uh, if we wanted to upgrade the firmware to the reader itself as well, we could do it 
here. We would just have to have that file on our device. So this is all within this um, RFID mobile application. So a lot of the same things that we did in this RFID desktop, we can do in the background. And with the desktop, we can connect to our PC over Bluetooth. Um, we can connect to multiple readers. And um, I believe on the desktop, you can do up to 20 devices to update. And then with the mobile device, I would, I'm really um, I'm not sure. But here's a nice little thing in terms of you can do is, um, you know, tag list match mode. Um, you can basically do a run of all your tags and almost do like an inventory. And then once, as you're scanning, you can remove or it'll, it'll remove the tags that uh, were in your list. So you have kind of a nice way to test if you have 100 items tagged with 100 different tags. You could put that in the device and then do a little test and see how fast all 100 are found. So, um, so yeah, so we went over the firmware update just to kind of play with the application a little. Um, and then, yeah, when the reader goes to sleep, it will auto reconnect when it comes back on. Um, there is NFC. I think it needs to have a fuller battery to be able to connect for the initial first time. Otherwise, it will reconnect just over straight Bluetooth. Um, the premium does have the Wi-Fi capable um, as well, but that I think is still in progress. So, uh, thank you.